Welcome! My name is Roberto Locatelli. In this tutorial, we will show how to create a seashell in Blender. I will use version 2.71. Open a Blender file. Delete the default cube. Hit X and then click on Delete. Insert a circle. On the left panel, click on the tab Create and choose Circle. If the left panel is not visible, type T to bring it out. Set the view to orthographic. Hit 5 on the number pad. Change to top view. Type 7 on the number pad. Remember that for Blender, the numbers on the number pad are different from the numbers over the letters. If you are using a keyboard that doesn't have a number pad, like on a notebook, you may use the inferior menu view to change the view type. On the left panel, set the number of vertices of our circle on 32, if it is different from this. Insert an empty. In the same tab we used to create the circle, go to the bottom and click on Empty. Select the circle by right-clicking on it. Or left-clicking it, if you set so your blender like I did. Insert an array modifier to the circle. Click on the wrench icon on the left panel, then click on Add Modifier, hover the mouse on the Generate column, and click on Array. Let's set the Array modifier. Uncheck the relative of set box and check the constant of set box. Set the Z offset to 0.25. To do that, click over the number and type 0.25, then type Enter. Set the number of count to 300, click over the number and type 300. Don't forget to type Enter after all numeric input. Check the box Object Offset. Click on the little orange cube below this box, you just check it. Click on Empty, which is the empty object we just created. This way, all the modifications we do in the empty will result in a modification on the copies of the circle. Now we'll create a spiral of circles. Select the empty by right-clicking it, or left-clicking if you set so your blender. If you find difficult to click it because it's masked by the 3D grid or the circles, you can select it by clicking on its name at the panel on the right, below the label All Scenes. Note that there are a lot of information there, represented by icons. These tools are very useful when we have a scene with many objects, empties and curves. With the mouse over the 3D view, type R to rotate the empty. Type X to restrict the rotation to the X-axis. Then type 12 in order to set the rotation to 12 degrees. A nice torus of circles will appear. This torus will become the structure of the seashell. Now we will create a spiral of circles. To do that, we need to move the empty. With the empty selected, type G, then X, then 0.06. As a result, the circles form a spiral. Note that the turns of the spiral are very close to each other. Actually, the edge curves are slightly overlapping. This detail is important to get a correct seashell look. Press 3 on the number pad to go to the lateral right view. You'll see that we have a hole in the center of the spiral. Seashells generally have not this hole. Let's correct this. Select the circle. I mean any circle because all of them are part of the same object. But remember, until we apply the array modifier, one of them is the original one and the others are copies. Hit tab so we switch to edit mode. Type Z to change to wireframe view so we can see the copies of the circle like in object mode at the same time we see the original one on edit mode. Type A one or twice to select all vertices, which will appear in orange color. Grab the left mouse button on the little white circle on the center of the axis arrows and move the vertices until the center hole disappear. 
Since we made this change on edit mode, the origin of the object, known also as pivot point, will not move. And this is good because if the origin moves, the spiral would get deformed. Switch back to object mode, hitting tab again. Switch back to solid view, hitting Z again. Ok, we have a spiral, and a seashell is a spiral. But all the circles have the same size. We need a spiral in which the circles decrease its size gradually. To get this, we'll scale down the empty. An empty is empty, but when an empty controls a modifier, which is the case here, we can get interesting effects altering, for example, its scale. Select empty, type S for scale, and then type 0.99 to scale it this amount. Bingo! The spiral turns into a seashell shape. To be honest, I really don't know exactly how this happens. I guess the scale of the empty influences the scale of the circles in a direct proportion of the original distance from the empty to each circle in their original positions before the rotation of the empty. Anyway, it works. We get an algorithm that probably is very close of the algorithm encrusted in the genetic code of the animals that construct seashells. Now it's time to apply the array modifier. Generally, apply is one of the last things we do. In some cases, it is unnecessary or even unrecommended apply a change. It's not the case here. So, select the circle, click on the wrench icon and click on the apply button. We have a seashell structure, but without faces, only with vertices. Fortunately, Blender has a nice tool called Bridge Edge Loops. Select the seashell, now we can use this name, and hit tab on the keyboard to switch to edit mode. Type A one or twice to select all the vertices, which will be shown on an orange color. Go to the mesh menu on the inferior menu strip and choose edges, then bridge edge loops. You may need to scroll down the menu to see this command. And we have a basic seashell. Type tab to switch to object mode to see this better. If we look closely at the tip of the seashell, we'll see that it ends with a hole, which generally is not the case on nature. To fix that, we can construct manually an end cap, like a hemisphere. But this is necessary only if we use the seashell on a very close look, otherwise it's ok to let it as it is. One thing to remember is that seashells grow clockwise. It means that if you look at a seashell with the overture in your direction, it must be on the left side of the seashell. The counterclockwise seashells are very, very rare. Ok, you can choose a rare specimen. Save your work. Hit Ctrl S and choose a folder on your computer. This is the basic. To create other species of seashells, you need to administer some variables. 1. The amount of rotation of the empty object. 2. The amount of the reduction of its size. 3. The amount of its movement from the initial position. And 4. Something we have not done here. Modeling the initial circle to another shape. This last item is important to get some interesting shapes. For this, you must base your work on images to get realistic shapes, like these you are viewing. In the description of the tutorial, there are some links to get seashells photos. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe the channel. Any doubt or question, post a comment. This is all for now. See you on the next tutorial.